Hey, Christine. What was that you were saying yesterday about the effects that the Eucharist has on us? We have his heart literally, physically beating within our own body so that we can go from the Mass and see the world, see the Church, see the truth through his eyes. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I'm just repeating what I heard the shadow priest say. Everyone, and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. For time immemorial, it has been males serving at the altar, not females. But the Church of Nice, which respects absolutely nothing except its own desires, has set about to overthrow that and pushed and promoted the French Revolution free Masonic idiocy of equality and concluded that tradition be damned, we need girl altar boys. That phrase, girl altar boys, sounded weird, because it is, and clunky, so the sex-neutral phrase has been introduced of altar servers, how politically correct. It may or may not be a cause, probably is, to the continuing decline in any correct Catholic self-identity, but it is one of the leading clarion calls around which the Church of Nice circles its wagons when the trumpet is sounded. The Church of Nice anti-tradition firing squad gets all kinds of assistance from the secular crowd, which of course makes total sense since the Church of Nice is born of secular worldly thought and not Catholic thought. Case in point, San Francisco's Star of the Sea Parish, where the recently appointed pastor, Father Joseph Ilo, has declared that the sanctuary will return to its centuries-old habitat for men. From henceforward, all servers at the altar will be male, meaning altar boys. Does a heart good, doesn't it? Good for him, good for Father Joseph, good for the parish, and good for any future vocations that may arise from this good and well-directed deed. Ah, but the world and the Church of Nice, they don't like this. This is a shining on of the spotlight directly on the man crisis in the church, as Cardinal Raymond Burke said recently, and they do not want the man crisis talked about. To end the practice of girl altar boys overthrows every single heresy the Church of Nice worships. It destroys their notion that men and women are the same, not equal, mind you, the same. It abolishes their work to abolish the distinction between the laity and the ordained. It returns something of a manly masculinity to the sanctuary, which of course the Church of Nice cannot stand. The Church of Nice clergy and episcopate has done everything they can possibly think of and carry out to convert the look and feel of Catholicism to a watered down Protestantized sect. They've moved the tabernacle, practically hidden it, brought in horrible, sappy music, pushed for the reception of, our, of the body and blood of our blessed Lord in the hand, stuck a table in the sanctuary, obliterated the notion of sacrifice, and substituted it with the plainness and boredom of just a meal. And of course, invited girls into the sanctuary to continue the process. The Mass has been especially assaulted in its appearance and practices and abuses because this is the place where most Catholics who still think they are Catholic experience the faith, what little of it they do experience. They put in their Sunday duty, grab their bulletin, and bolt out the door, usually early. So if that experience can be polluted and defiled and made to look and feel as not authentically Catholic, meaning non-traditional Catholic as possible, then all the better. Little by little and quickly by quickly, more and more Catholics will be made to feel less and less Catholic. And Girl Altar Boys has always been just one more arrow in the quiver of the Church of Nice. So for Father Ilo to take this step is stupendous. And he has the backing. And he has the backing of not only his archbishop, the stalwart, Salvatore Cordelioni, Archbishop of San Francisco. You love saying that name. But also the Vatican. Yep, the Holy See itself. So sit up and take notice, Church of Nice, and take a hike while you're at it. As recently as 2001, the Congregation for Divine Worship, under whose jurisdiction this issue of girl altar boys falls, said very clearly that while an individual bishop can permit the practice, he is under no obligation to, regardless of what his particular national conference may have to say about the matter. So while a local bishop 
can give the practice of girl altar boys the green light. One, no priest can be forced to have to have girl altar boys. Two, a bishop cannot, absolutely cannot, force a pastor to accept the practice. And three, there is an obligation to support the practice of altar boys. And that is from the Vatican itself, all three of those points. That is quite the statement from Rome itself. In short, a bishop can make this ill-advised decision to permit this if he wants, but he can't force it down the throat of his priests. In short, the norm, the usual, the accepted, preferred, desired, longed for intention and wish of the church is for altar boys only. It is an aberration, an indult, a sideshow for there to be girl altar boys. But this longing on the part of the church has not prevented the Church of Nice Gang from going after Father Joseph Ilo and the Star of the Sea Parish. The predictions are already out there that the parish will now go bankrupt because of its chauvinistic, sexist, misogynist, paternal pastor and his hatred toward women. So we would like to direct your attention to a small little fundraising site we have set up for Star of the Sea Parish where you can show your support for a priest and a parish whose only goal is to reestablish a traditional practice that the Church of Nice wants to throw out. If other priests and parishes see that the authentic lay faithful will support efforts like this and priests like this, then it will go a long way to shutting up the Church of Nice mouthpieces because the Church of Nice cares about money. It will also give a great boost to the effort to reinforce Catholic identity. You know, the local CBS station in San Francisco <laughs> actually sent a reporter to do a live shot on this story, believe it or not. Talk about a slow news day, uh, but see the symbolic thing going on here. The action is important. It is a direct smack in the face and throwing down of the gauntlet to say, this far, Church of Nice, with your worldly garbage and no farther. So please click on the GoFundMe link and send the parish a few bucks if you can express your, so you can express your moral support for this great effort. If we're ever going to start to turn the direction of this war around, we need to start winning some battles. And this one is low-hanging fruit. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.